Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Virgo for November of 2020. I want to say welcome to my channel. I'm a spiritual empowerment coach and healer, and I help women heal from toxic relationships by healing their childhood trauma um, through energy healing and transforming your subconscious beliefs. All right, so I also have a brand new program coming out, which is called Unleash Your Divine Self and Manifest Your Abundance. So if you are really interested in learning on how to connect to your higher self and really manifest the things that you want in life, if you've been trying to manifest, but it's just not working out, um, <laughs> whew, okay, um, you can check that out in the description box and the comments below. All right, let's see what is going on for you this month. All right. Also, if you haven't yet, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Get notified. With the help, hit the little bell notification to get notified when I do have new videos coming out. Every Tuesday at 8 p.m. I do go Eastern Standard Time. I do go live with different topics. So you can check those videos out already on my channel and also coming up this week. All right. So we've got... The Five of Cups is the overall energy. So really important to get your mind out of the gutter is what I'm hearing, all right? To really start focusing on the positivity, the things that are in your life. This would be a really good time to start focusing on gratitude and really kind of allowing that appreciation and the gratitude and the positive thinking to come in because with the Five of Cups, if you may know, it's like the three cups are already spilled, but there's two the two beautiful gleaming cups above there, but we're focused on what didn't happen. We're focused on what isn't working. So now it's time to switch it. And even the things that aren't working are doing that for a reason. So that is the overall energy. And that's really going to come into play in the middle of the month here. Now, in the beginning of the month, we've got the six of cups. We've got the judgment card and we have the higher font here. So this might be about you getting your light back here. Um, the judgment card, which I love in this deck, is about kind of tooting your own horn, like doing your own thing. And with the higher font, now this could mean kind of committing to that, committing to being you and not trying to change yourself for somebody else, not trying to people please and say yes to everything, even though you don't want to do things. It's kind of really about taking the energy back to you. And it's making that commitment here. Now, the higher font can also mean about um, seeking guidance from somebody else. So seeking guidance from a priest, from a, a therapist, from a coach, from a healer, whatever it is, from a friend, uh, from your spouse, but someone with more knowledge than you have, okay? So if this is hard for you to kind of look at the positive side of things, it might be time to get a new book. The Secret is a really good book for this. Um, not this, is it the secret? No, it's not the secret. It's, I think it's magic. I can't remember the name of the book. It's upstairs. Um, but definitely it's time for you to either get help from that or help have someone else help you with it. Maybe on a, like do daily exercises with it, but let's cut to the chase because <laughs> the middle of the month is where we really need to talk about. We've got the tower card, the world card, and the 10 of swords. So you got some shit happening in the middle of the month here. Um, I feel like things are going to come crashing down in the middle of the month. And specifically because you've got the Tower card, but you've got the World card, and then you've got the Ten of Swords. So something in the middle of the month might completely shockingly end. Um, might fall apart. And again, this is really when you have to start to really practice this looking at the bright side of things. Because whatever this is, it's for, it's divinely guided. It is going to be brought to you because there's new paths that need to be taken. So again, with the world and the 10 here, the, I mean, they're all ending cards, right? But with the world card, I feel like you're on the top of the world and then bam. Stabbed in the back multiple, multiple times. So this definitely could be a breakup. Um, this definitely could be someone cheating on you. And again, please do not say, do not start to get up in your mind. If there is no, um, if you are in a happy relationship, then this just is not your message. 
or it can resonate in something else. But I can definitely feel that there's an ending in the middle of November here for you. And it feels like you don't see it coming because of this world card here. But it is divinely guided and this is when the universe steps in. So if you have been living this life, maybe it's in a job, maybe it's in a relationship, maybe it's in something different, and you know like you've been wanting to get out, you know that you've been wanting to end things, um, I feel as though the universe is going to step in and help you do that this month. Um, I, I really feel, and not in every reading, there was one other reading, I can't remember which one it was, but that... 2020 like these things need to happen now so that 2021 is a completely different year and the universe is gonna help you do this because it seems as though you can't make that jump on your own here and why why is the universe going to help you do that because you're seeking this justice for yourself you know you deserve better you know that you want better but you can't seem to kind of take the time out and move forward. You stay stuck, stuck in this relationship, stuck in this pattern, stuck in the toxic habits, um, addictions, whatever this is for you. But I do feel as though something is going to completely end in the middle of November. Um, you know, the 10 of swords is really, there's no coming back from this. So definitely um, be aware of that, but don't be scared of it either because beautiful cards afterwards. It might feel like your world is falling apart, but again, please remember, look at the positive side of things because there is positive, even though it feels like you there isn't at that moment because you can't see it. But there's definitely something happening and it is for your own good and it is for your growth and involvement, spiritually, um, emotionally, physically, all of it. Something has to end. There's some there's some kind of um, uh, habits or stuckness. I just had like nest, nest to the end of any word. <laughs> um, we're going to hit one more card with this. Yeah. So we've got the tradition card, which is nostalgia and reflection. So again, time to reflect back. Ask yourself those questions right now about do you feel like you're wanting to end things? Do you feel as though you're feeling that resistance about moving forward or moving on from something? Okay, and maybe it's because it's tradition. Maybe it's family and you don't want to, you know, rock the boat. Maybe it's a relationship and you have children and it could be really anything here but it definitely has to do with some kind of nostalgia and maybe tradition um, or beliefs, uh, fa family beliefs, also um, fear. Fear is also what I'm getting there. So we've got the magician here. So intuition and taking chances. So again, you can either pull the trigger here with this, uh, with ending things, Okay, and I'm not saying ending things in life or anything like that. I'm not talking like that, all right? So I just want to be very, very clear. This is about ending something that is holding you back from what you want, all right? So please, if you need help with anything else, then please reach out to somebody that can help you. Um, but magician, this is about listening to your intuition and taking the chances and trusting yourself here. And we've got the Swift Decisions card. So the Eight of, of, of Wands here. So Swift Decisions. So you might have to think on your feet is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, and there might be decisions that you have to make that you don't want to make, but you're going to need to make them. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually, you know, when that Tower card comes out, and especially with the Ten of Swords right next to it, this is a good thing because there's something that's holding you back. There's something that is draining your energy that really needs to be let go of. And you've got to figure out what that is for you. And whether you end it or they end it or the universe steps in and ends it, it is going to be beneficial for you. So please just remember that. 
Being drawn to this gold card here. Let's see what this says. All right, so our Soul Truth card here. We have, when was the last time I couldn't stop laughing or smiling? It says, go back to a moment when you laughed so hard, you almost peed your pants or did, or did. Feel the laughter grow in your body, your cheeks hurting and eyes watering. Maybe there was even a snort or two. Laughter is healing. It reminds us to take life less seriously and to find the joy in the littlest things. Note to self, laugh more often. And today's soul action here is make somebody laugh today. And that's exactly what we're talking about here with this five of cups. It's not about focusing on all the negative, all the things that didn't happen, everything that's not going right. It's about finding the joy in life every single day, finding the happiness and laughing about it and laughing so hard. And, you know, when you finally heal and you finally are in like alignment, there's this feeling and let me know in the comments below if you've ever felt this or that you, if you want to feel this, but there's a feeling like when you're laughing, you feel so in the moment so happy and that's what this card is talking about that you laugh so hard you almost peed your pants because at that moment when you're laughing you're not worried about anything else you're enjoying the moment and you're being very very present and that's kind of what this card is talking about here laughter is healing it reminds us to take life less seriously and find the joy in the littlest things so definitely hope that resonates with you um, again, please don't be scared of this ending. Things have to end so new things can begin. And just remember that. And when everything feels like it's coming, falling down and coming apart, it's really all coming together. So just remember that for this month, okay? This is, take that. Everything's about to change for you and in a very good way. All right? No more feeling stabbed in the back. No more feeling defeated. No more feeling like you're walked all over. It's time to take that power back to get this justice, all right? And if you're interested in working with me on that from in my From Pain to Power mentorship about healing, you know, from childhood, you can check that out below as well. All right, so much love to you. Stay strong and stay hopeful and stay positive because all of this is happening for you, not to you, all right? If you want to join my Unleash Your Divine Self and manifest your abundance, you can also join that in the description box or the comments below. And give me a thumbs up and let me know how this resonates with you in the comments. Much love to all of you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.